Hey, what's up guys, this is Val. In this video, I'm going to do a quick review of Sweet Temptation by Asia. So, this artist created a lot of goodies, yummy desserts, and they are in two versions. One is for iRay, and the other one is for 3 Live Render Engine. And so, you got a lot of, you know, like cake one with sauce, cake two with topping, all that. Uh, so you got a lot of you know options here like props and also what's interesting is that you can obviously add and this is only visible when you load the prop here in Dash Studio you go to uh, Dash Studio formats my Dash library props sweet temptation and then you've got you know a big selection of the amazing looking props and these look as yummy as on the promo. So if you just load this one, cake here, Sweet Temptation cake, you see that it looks amazing. I mean, come on. I mean, this this looks literally I could, like a photo. You could just eat it up, right? I mean, that is just amazing. So what it says here on the left side is turn into sub D, add sub division for close ups. So if you are really, really close, which you are right now, what you can do is take the object, go here, edit object and geometry, convert to sub D. And then in the parameter tab, you've got, you know, resolution levels here. So you can crank it up and watch now this space here when the chocolate sauce is. If you just increase that, you notice a bump in the, uh, how it you know, reflects lighting and shadows and all that. So it, it really adds another layer of realism having that high resolution here added. Um, so these look just amazing. I mean, come on. This has to be the most realistic uh, props I've ever seen in the DAS marketplace. These just look that good. So that is yet another one. Let me just move it to the side. Cake two. Awesome. Let me rotate it. So each prop comes centered along its center uh, position, so to speak. So it's very easy to position on tables and all that because they come centered. I've lost my camera, lost my visual. Let me go back. Let me frame the prop. There we go. Uh, yep, all right. So, one thing you want to have in mind when you know illuminating or casting a lighting on these is that let me let me use here, let me turn on the dome, let's use a manual position for ground. All right, let me just see if it really is on the ground. It is perfect. So one thing you want to do, consider while doing these renders, is that every type of food, you know, every piece of food, every type of food, looks always better when you have backlighting on it. So, for instance, if we rotate the dome here in the render settings, just go here into, let's say, let's say dome, dome rotation. There we go. If I rotate this around to like this, we immediately lose the yummy factor and it just looks, well, it looks good, but it doesn't look wow, right? So you wanna have that um, specific angle, maybe not true back lighting like we have right now, but at least from the side. So you play a little bit from the side and you play that way that then adds that yummy factor, right? Like you eliminate a little bit from the side, you get these highlights on the yummy parts and they really shine. So that is, you know, what's really, really important to get those to look a little bit more yummy. So let me check out the other pieces here. You got some, you know, besides the cakes or whatever you have here you also have like toppings you have like strawberries you can add them on top man these these look delicious 
Um, I can start my own food program here. So let me do translate and so you can position those. Let me just take the correct one here with the strawberry. And let's move it into place. So you can position those on top here and create your own versions of it. So that is a huge plus, all right? Plus, you know, if you add this deco cake too, so to speak, it comes, it's made of four strawberries and you can remove each and one of them. Or you can even individually move them across here. And, you know, sometimes when, when things are added, like in this case, they are added here on top, you can see this moving or rotation gizmo ain't straight looking. It's like, you know, you cannot move it straight. It moves up and down a little bit through the cake. And if you want to move it just straight, I've got a small tip for you here. You create a null object. You place that null object onto the cake. Then you grab that strawberry and put it onto that null object. Now the null object doesn't have that skewed gizmo, right? So now we can just pick that and move it across the cake. That's a very cool tip there for you. So, I mean, all these options here, uh, blended with chocolate, uh, orange, they just look amazing. So, I mean, this is an absolutely must have item in the dust store. Um, for the price, it's really ridiculous. So if you haven't you know, picked it up, go ahead and do that now. It's just amazing, all right? So this is truly an amazing prop that looks just like advertised and it's extremely detailed and what I also like about it it has great iry settings here so that you know really feel the shine effect is different on different properties of the prop uh, well done Esha uh, great prop if you want to take a look at it in the dash store click on the link below this video as always, if you like this video, please comment below, share with your friends. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.